Hello, my dear children. Today we have to learn a new chapter that is 10th unit in the land of Kerala. Kerala is well endowed with natural beauty. Hills, rivers, backwaters, coastlines, diverse plant and animal life and moderate climate are the special features of Kerala. Here is some lines of Sri S.K. Pottakat, an eminent writer, describe the beauty of Kerala. Paddy fields of emerald green. Blankets the vast interiors, the green leshy valleys, the mesmerizing ponds in blue, the sparklers lit night, and the divinely pure moon. Oh my Kerala, how flutters my heart to hear thy dear name just mentioned. Hope you all familiar with the map of Kerala. Kerala is located in the southern part of India between the western guts in the east and the Arabian Sea in the west. We can see the Kerala can be classified into highland, midland and lowland. Highland is the area with an elevation of over 75 meters from the sea level. All our rivers originated from this physiographic unit composed of lofty mountains and hills. Most of this region is covered with forest. The highland region of Kerala is part of Western Ghat mountain range which extends from Tamil Nadu in the south to Gujarat in the north. The Western Ghat is the abode of a wide variety of animals including tiger and leopard. Different types of birds and butterflies, reptiles like king cobra and rare species like the Nilagiri Thar and the lion-tailed mosaic are seen here. The Western Ghat region is also home to trees such as rosewood, eaglewood, sandalwood, red sandalwood and orchids of different kinds. This region is also known as Sahyadri mountain range. Next portion is Midland. The Midland includes areas lying between an elevation of 7.5 meters and 75 meters above the sea level. The midland zone consists of small hills, valleys and river basins. The lowland is the area that has an elevation up to 7.5 meters from the sea level. Generally, this is a sandy tract. Let's check Kerala's climatic characteristics. Kerala experiences a moderate climate. Nearness to the sea is the main reason for a climate which is neither too hot nor too cold in Kerala. Kerala receives the highest amount of rainfall during the southwestern monsoon season which begins in June. It is known as Idavapadi or Kalavarsham. The northeast monsoon is known as Tulavarsham. The evening showers accompanied by the thunder is the peculiarity of Tulavarsham. By the end of December, a slightly cool climate is experienced in Kerala. The summer season begins by the middle of February.